with the image that's being shown now, uh, you'll see kind of uh, the central large crater there with a small crater at its top. Um, the centaur is expected to impact on the left part of the, uh, the large shadow. Flight, two minutes to centaur impact, and we are one minute to start of MBM sequence two and payload flash mode. The uh, shadowed region to the bottom left of that small crater at, on the rim of Cabeus is our targeted impact point. Rusty uh, Hunt, the flight director, announced uh, earlier that uh, NVM sequence two would be running soon. That is the flash sequence, uh, the beginning of the science sampling sequence that governs the remainder of the observation. All stations flight mark, 60 seconds to send our impact. We start of NVM sequence two. We've just started sequence two. This is flash mode now. Uh, this will run from one minute prior to impact. Flight payload confirm sequence two start through three seconds after the that effective payload. impact. We'll then switch to curtain mode, which will last for three minutes, and then the final minute uh, before the shepherding spacecraft impact will be called Flight crater mode. Science. Please change NIR1 to OPR9. Over. Copy NIR1 to OPR9. Command flight, set it up. Is that November or Mike? November. Science flight confirmed November. that's November. November. IR. We are, uh, the science team is now communicating to the flight team to uh, adjust some camera science levels. Science flight confirmed near infrared, November, correct? On Confirm. The near infrared uh, camera. Bot send, NIR1 to OPR9. Copy, sending command. All stations flight, mark Centaur impact. That was an announcement by the flight director that the uh, center impact should have. Uh, flight should have confirm receipt of uh, command over. Flight payload curtain start over. Copy that payload. We should be looking for uh, some signs of the impact on the leftmost part yeah, of the. Standing uh, by with mid infrared changes. The left side of the shadow, right below the uh, the dimpled crater on the crater, the larger crater rim. Flight, this is science. Make the rate changes. MIR one, one hertz. MIR two, zero point one hertz. Over. Copy science command flight. MIR one to one hertz. Sending MIR one at one hertz. And the science team is directing the flight team to adjust the uh, sampling rate of some of the instruments to fit within the one megahertz. Uh, Ready with MIR two at point two, at uh, point one. The one megahertz signal limit. Go flight. Command flight. Send MIR two zero point one hertz. MIR two zero point one hertz. Sending command. Flight confirm receipt of command over. Copy that payload. All stations flight one minute to transition to DV mode. Transition to DV mode, which is Delta V mode, actually is a uh, control mode for the spacecraft. It allows us to slew much more quickly uh, to continue pointing at the uh, suspected uh, Centaur impact point, even though the, uh, the shepherding spacecraft will be impacting a couple of kilometers away. This is the last minute uh, before the shepherding spacecraft also impacts the surface of the moon and the last minute of flight.
We are watching the remaining few seconds of uh, the LCROSS mission as we uh, approach very rapidly the surface of uh, the Cabeas crater. Mark, transition to DV mode. Flight, NIR-2, OPR change request. NIR-2 to OPR-10, over. Is that November? NIR-2 to OPR-10. Yes, confirm. Ten. November. Ready. Command flight send, November, IR-2 to OPR-10. Command sent. Flight payload, confirm receipt of command. Copy, payload. These are Stand by for shepherding spacecraft impact. The very last seconds of the uh, shepherding spacecraft trajectory as it approaches the lunar surface. We are seeing very small craters within the we, crater. We confirm a thermal signature of the crater in our mid-air cameras. Over. Copy science. We just All received flight shepherding s spacecraft impact stations report LOS. The uh, ground stations at Goldstone just reported Last a Last track at 11:35:35.054 seconds. The shepherding spacecraft has hit the surface of the moon, and this marks the end of the LCROSS uh, flight mission.